Welcome back to my video series on how I do my Notion setup. Um, if you haven't seen video one, I encourage you to go back and see where it all started. In this video, I'm going to be building my goals. All right, so let's go ahead and get started. I'm going to, um, as I said in the last video, most of uh, what I'm building is going to live here under the workflow page. So I'm just going to come down here at the bottom and and create um, uh, I don't know what I'm going to call this. I'll just call it pages for now as a header. Let's make that a heading level two. And I'm going to drag that over here with the list. All right. So these things, you know, they fell out of the column, so I can just drag them like that. Easy enough. All right, so the first page then it's going to be the um, the goals page. <clears throat> and to save time, I'm going to copy paste. All right, so these are my goals, my work goals, my personal goals. Um, I've done work goals forever. That's kind of a requirement of all the different places I worked. Um, in fact, the companies that I worked at that didn't have goals, I found that uh, it was much harder to evaluate employee productivity, which is really important when you're talking about, you know, salary increases and promotions and, and that kind of thing. And so um, if you own your own business, I encourage that you to make have your employees do goals and everybody's goals should report to, you know, the person above them. So uh, the analyst to their manager, to their manager, their manager, all the way up to, you know, the, the CEO and back down. So any goals the CEO has, that goal should go down to the analyst level. So if the CEO has a goal of, you know, you know, they're going to have big, huge goals. So bringing in more money to the company, that sounds like a great CEO goal, right? So then an analyst says, this is how I can, this is how my work helps the bottom line. And that would be their goal. Um, and then like, you know, this is my third year doing personal goals. I have a lot of things, a lot of activities that I like to get into, a lot of hobbies. And I was finding that I was spending each year, like I would start a lot of stuff but I didn't finish very many things. And so, you know, I get frustrated. I'd feel like if I was working on something that I was really kind of feeling bad that I wasn't working on something else. And then I would burn myself out. And I just have these days where I'm just exhausted. I mean, burnout is a real thing anyway, but even more so just exhausted. And at the end of the year, I'm like, wow, I didn't really like, you know, these, these things are still sitting around not getting done. So I've started doing personal goals and I found that I actually am accomplishing more um, I'm not necessarily still finishing things, but I am doing a lot better and accomplishing a lot more than I have previous to creating personal goals. Um, so really quickly, publishing challenge. So they want us to create more content. Um, I really like that goal. We, that was, we did this last year, and I decided that this year I'm going to make that a personal challenge as well. So publish challenge personal. And so this Notion video, by the way, this series, is part of that goal. Um, I'm learning herbalism, I've got a book project going on, and then just picking up some side gigs for, for quick cash, things that are, that are quick, should be accomplishable in a weekend. So, you know, or, you know, two, three weekends in the most, maybe I do a one page website for somebody, or maybe I, you know, make some elderberry syrup and, and sell that to somebody or, you know, what have you, like quick, quick things that don't take a lot of time. Um, and then, of course, for work, we have to find ways to be more innovative and we attend conferences and we have a wiki that we use to track like thought leadership and practice management, um, helping out with business development efforts and then, of course, professional development. So those are my goals. If this was my Evernote, in fact, I did the same uh, type of video for how I did my goals in Evernote. And... Um, this would be it. Like I would probably create pages to then track doing these activities, but that was it. Like I was linking to those pages. That's how I kept them. And there wasn't a really easy way. Like I'm bouncing around between the goal, the page about the goals, the tasks that I'm actually doing to create the goals. And in this system, I want it to be much more efficient. I want those things to kind of tie themselves together. So instead of just keeping an, a 
blank page, you know, a basic page like this, I'm actually going to create this a table to house these things. So um, I'm going to create a inline table. So an inline table just means that um, the table is actually living as its own separate page beneath this page, but I'm able to see it mirrored here. If that makes sense, All right? A table always has this column, which is the name column. You can change what it's called, but you cannot change the, the property the property type, and you cannot delete it. But you can change what it's called. You can move where it's placed. You know what have you. Um, there's different views that they have in table view. So when you go with the default, like list, um, this is the default table view. They give you tags and files as property types to just show that you could have more. Um, but you can change the type, which we're going to do here. So we're going to say this is a, a gold type, and I'm going to use the select menu for this. I don't need files, so I'm going to delete that. I can add more property types, um, but here's what's cool. So they give you three empty records just to get you started, but you see it says open as page. This is a page. It's not, uh, you know, like if you think about a, a cell, you know, a record in like Excel or um, Google Sheets, it's not a page. It's just a, it's a single record. This though, it's a page. So oops, this is a page. So I can give it a title. Remember how I gave icons and, co and covers. Um, I can have that discussion by adding comments. And then below here, this is the same page with the same functionality as like something that you know like this page we're working on it's the same it's the same thing um, it's just in a table and it has the ability to have properties and then has the ability to be related to other pages in a different way because of these properties this right here is the game changer and, and you're not gonna believe me maybe right yet but once I tie two tables together you're going to be like, oh, wow, that, that really changes like everything. Um, one of the reasons why I typed this out first rather than just, I could have just typed my goals in here directly so you could see, but I wanted to show you this thing about how we can move stuff around so easily. I could just highlight and then drag it. And if I put it over the record like this, it would go inside the record. You see now this has page content, but that's, that's not what I wanted to do. So well, let's take that back out. Good. Put it back. All right, what I actually want to do is make them their own records. So I'm going to wait until I see that individual line and then drop it and boom, their records. I'm going to delete these because I don't need the empty ones. And let's go ahead and grab the work ones drag those in. Okay. And there's probably going to be other things that come on the goal page. Um, and I'm hesitating because I haven't built my planning area yet. So I'm not sure if I want the tables to live all live here. And then I have some kind of workflow for planning. I'm not sure yet, but the annual goals definitely live here. Um, for type, I'm going to say personal. Oh wait, this was the publish the work one. So let's work. And uh, again, work. Okay, now we're in the personal. And on this one, I'm just going to call it side gig. Maybe I want to run some kind of reports later where I, um, you know, want to run something against this differently than I would the personal goals. So I don't know. But the work goals, oh, I keep doing that. The work goals, I know I'm going to um, have to do some analysis on because I'll have to write that annual review. And if you write your annual review as you're going through the year, like if I'm, you know, keeping track of the tasks that I did and how that went and, um, then it's much easier to write the annual goals at the end of the year or the annual review at the end of the year. So 
that's it. Um, I can move these goals. So like just, you know, you saw me moving stuff before, like I could just grab it and, and, you know, put it on the home page. And if I go to the home page, you'll see that it's living here above the inbox because that's literally where I put it above the inbox. If I put it below the inbox, then boom, it's below. So this menu is hierarchical. Um, we want this to say, stay here. All right, so those are the goals. And I'm going to come back here and I'm going to, oh, I never moved this page to here. Let's move that over. I'm going to mark goals as complete. And I will see you in the next video where I work on projects.